Some affordable housing units in D.C. recently got a makeover, a green makeover that is. Today, district leaders and residents celebrated the grand reopening of the units. They're located along R Street in Northwest, a prime location. News Channel 8's Mike Kanin is here live tonight with more. Hi, Mike. Hey, Beverly. You know, it is location, location, location that makes these units just around the corner from Logan Circle very popular. But that location also makes them more environmentally friendly because residents have more access to public transportation transportation, and they live within walking distance to grocery stores and other amenities, cutting down on the use of cars. And that's just the neighborhood. Inside the units, you'll find several eco-friendly features. Come in. Francis Johnson has lived on R Street for more than 50 years. I love it. I love the whole thing. She's still getting used to her upgraded apartment, which features new Energy Star appliances, a programmable thermostat, and low-flow fixtures in the kitchen and bathroom. What's favorite? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything. I didn't know one particular thing. At a grand reopening ceremony of the R Street Apartments, <laughs> residents were thanked for their patience. The folks that lived in this building and in this area during hard times, well, guess what? You get to live here in greater times. And I think that's one of the things, staying in the hood is so, so very important. This resident-owned affordable housing is located in D.C.'s Logan Circle neighborhood. In the midst of a gentrifying area, in the, in the midst of an area close to downtown, in the midst of an area not often associated with affordable housing. These five buildings, first constructed in 1912, now have free high-speed wireless internet access for all residents, rain barrels to harvest water, and a new roof. So they were able to put in an Energy Star solar reflective roof that improves the insulation value at the same time it's reducing the overall heat island effect in the district. After two years of construction, residents say the renovations give them peace of mind. Yes, it is. It's a beautiful place to live. And I am, and I'm gonna die here too. So just, you know, <laughs> I've been here all my life, and I'm not going nowhere. These buildings are full, except for a few of the market value apartments running between about $1,700 and $2,500 a month. But the vast majority of these units are affordable housing, running at uh, 40, 50, and 70 percent below the market rate. So. Who paid for all this? Well, the National Housing Trust and the developer here, Hampstead, financed the $24.5 million acquisition and renovation with a combo of historic rehabilitation tax credits, some low-income tax credit equity, and some other uh, tax-exempt bonds. All that funding was rounded out by a Department of Housing loan and a $50,000 grant from the environmentalist group Enterprise Community Partners. Beverly? It's so, Mike, we don't often think of green housing when we talk about affordable housing. This is something new, right? Well, you know, we think of those brand new developments when we think of green development. Condos and homes with those trendy industrial style ceilings and expensive prices that go along with them. But environmentalist groups really hope that that thinking will change and that we'll start to think about green housing as affordable housing because ultimately energy efficiency really results in lower energy bills. That can really help low-income families who need those lower cost bills. And in fact, they say that this building alone should see a 30% drop in energy costs. So some pretty big numbers. All right. Mike, can